A lot of people struggle to become a product manager, but even more people struggle to become a good product manager. There's a huge impact to a career if you don't know how to stand out as an outstanding product manager. Because a good product manager can quickly get promoted as a senior product manager or director product in a short amount of time. And average product manager can stay on the job for 20 years and still being a senior product manager forever. And even worse, some entry level product manager who doesn't know how to be a good product manager, they got fired within three months into their new job. In this video, I'm gonna discuss the six key factors to become a good product manager that all the product manager must master starting from the day one into their job. Make sure to stay until the end of this video where I share with you number one secret that 99% product manager doesn't do makes them become a mediocre product manager. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product feature in Forbes. I've helped thousand people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader in this channel. I talk about tech trends and free product management training. Like and subscribe and check out new video every Tuesday. Throughout my entire career as a direct product, I've hired, promoted, and fired lots of product managers in the past. I can see the key differentiator between a good product manager and bad product manager. There's a specific instance that literally opened my eyes regarding what is a good product manager. At the time when I was a director product, I have two young women in my team, and both of them are entry-level product manager. One of them literally getting fired within three months into a new job. The other person got promoted within three months into a new job. However, the first person has such a strong background on the book, looks like she will be a better product manager because she got a computer science degree and went to really famous school. And she was also a people person and looks like she definitely can do the job much better than the second person. However, the second person, and she was interior designer for Starbucks before she became an entry level product manager. And the second person doesn't know how to code at all. And she's not technical. She doesn't even know what is HTML before she became a product manager. And the product I work on at the time is called Edge Computing. It's a decentralized cloud, which makes it really technical for the second person who has an interior design background to work on. However, who got fired and who got promoted? Probably to your surprise, the first person who had a computer science background and ended up getting fired. The second interior designer ended up got promoted. The main reason is that the first person, whenever I ask her to do any kind of task, such as doing vendor management or conduct voice or customer interviews, I frankly have to push really hard to say, hey, you did those uh, meetings with the vendors. Can you give me the meeting summary? She said, oh, Nancy, you didn't ask me to do a meeting summary. So each time I need to follow up with her and push her, give her a specific task and tell her exactly what to do or she's not gonna do it. Therefore, I call it as a cube behavior. I had to push once and cube will only move once. However, the second person is performing like a snowball behavior. Whenever we see challenges, for example, in the agile development process, the second person was able to see the engineering team potentially having some bugs issue, have some potential delay. She was going to proactively working with the engineering team, bring up those solutions and create those alternative plans. And whenever she reports those issues back to me, she already told me and what different plans she has planned out potentially can mitigate the risk. Even if she doesn't know how to code, but she demonstrates the snowball behavior. I give her some guidance, give some resources and training. She's going to take it and run and the snowball just become bigger and bigger as she grew her career. So that's why the first person literally was fired within three months and the second person I already had a plan with my manager to get her promoted as a lead product manager because she's treating herself as CEO of the product and trying to push herself into the next level. Therefore, the number one most important thing for people to become a good product manager is a CEO mindset. I also invited our PM Accelerator alumni. She's a senior product manager of generative AI at Amazon, and she provided her expert opinion right here. One of the most important qualities of a successful product manager is ownership and accountability. As a product manager, you will go through a lot of ups and downs in the product journey. Sometimes you will not have all the answers. Um, there will be certain things which actually don't fall under your job description. However, at the end of the day, it is still your responsibility to make sure that a successful product is launched, something that your customers love and something that has enough stickiness. And for that to happen, you have to make sure that you hold yourself accountable and that you take complete ownership of managing the product and helping your team out and making sure that you deliver a great product that users love. If you're those kind of type A personality or you're somebody who really loves the ownership of a product, 
this will help you to become a good product manager because once you have a CEO mindset, you are the one who really pushes the product to the next level instead of having an exact to-do list and you complete the task and you're done. This kind of employee will never survive in any kind of work environment regardless she's a product manager or non-product manager. The second important factor to become a good product manager is advanced product management skills. Of course, all product managers must master the fundamental product management skills such as product requirement, documentation, derive a driving product roadmap, prior prioritizing product features, conducting the voice customer interviews. And those are fundamental for all product managers regardless your entry level, senior level, or even principal level. I have a separate video where I dive deeper regarding the six essential skills to become product manager fast. You can watch the video right here. Now, the key skills that make a good product manager and great product manager is product strategy. Even if lots of people have already had years of product management experience, but why they stay in the same company and the same role for 10 years, maybe 15 years and 20 years? It was because they frequently behave like the operators. They just write a requirement, doing customer interview, and they get it done. However, a good product manager and great product manager is going to think about long-term product strategy, why they need to create certain product feature, and what is happening in the market, which one should they prioritize, and how to see things in the long term as if you VP your product to create those 10 year strategic roadmap. Here's a specific real life example. And actually one of our students, she's working for one of tier one companies as a product manager. Within a year into the new job, her manager asked her and all the product managers within their team to post the next key features on the roadmap they can work on in the coming a year or three years and five years. This kind of task is quite easy for any product manager to put features on people's roadmap. However, if you use the right framework, right strategies, your vision will become very strategic and showing that you have far leadership. And this literally will happen in her meeting with the manager. Her manager literally was very, very excited and telling everybody was that her proposal on her roadmap is significantly better and all other product managers need to learn from her. So that's why she was able to get promoted within a year joining the new company and her salary increased by 20 percent within a year. One of the key tools for you to think strategically as a product leader is actually use the Gucci framework I invented. You should check out this video right here where I discuss in details. Those Gucci framework is not just good for the interview, can also be used for real life product management scenarios that definitely going to help you to become a good and outstanding product manager. I'm also going to link the video in the description of this video. The third factor makes a great product manager is to manage organizational complexity. Yes, Product managers actually is going to deal with lots of people relationship in a cross-functional team. And of course, different companies have different challenges in terms of human and people relationship. As a product manager, if you want to really stand out to make your team working coherently, you must be able to manage the organizational complexity, identify the right stakeholders and understand who could be your allies, who can be your back corners, who is going to advocate for you when you see technical challenges or business challenges so that your team can focus on building the best product and you can help them to remove all the distractions and align the resources to actually launch a product and impact millions of people. For example, Amazon has a very complex organizational structure and the bottom 10% people likely get eliminated every single year. So if you don't know how to navigate within Amazon, it's also going to be very challenging for you to become a good product manager and of course being very dangerous if you are the bottom 10%. If you find the tip very useful, make sure to smash the like button so that I have the motivation to make more videos like this. Now let's continue with factor number four. Becoming a good product manager must start from customer empathy. I have emphasized this many, many different times, including my TikTok video right here. All of me loves all of you. We need to fall in love with our customers, but lots of entry-level product managers, when they're originally building a product, they only think about themselves, their own challenges, their imagination, why customers need certain features, but they didn't really think from customer's perspective. And they only see one type of customer segmentation and forget about the entire uh, pool of customers that they can impact using their product. Now let's use amazon.com as an example. What do you think the customer segmentation should be for Amazon.com? For people who doesn't have strong customer empathy, they're probably thinking, oh, they are prime users and non-prime users. Based on how often they use a product, the answer is totally incorrect. A good product manager needs to think about why people go use Amazon and what type of people is going to fall in love with the product. So therefore, you think about customer segmentation for Amazon as if they are niche buyers, busy professionals, people looking for deals, 
and people who live remotely wasn't able to get access to physical stores easily. And this kind of customer segmentation and showing exactly why you understand the customer's pain point and why they go use Amazon.com and become royal customers and eventually enroll into Amazon Prime. Number five, the secret that 99% product managers miss to become a good and great product manager is selling yourself. A good product manager understands that not only you need to build a product, launch a product, and lead in a team, you also need to sell your product, sell your product visions, and sell in yourself to a group of stakeholders so that your product is going to get more resources and having higher visibilities within a leadership team. And it could also get more resources, for example, go have a better go-to-market strategy and support and funding to bring it to the hands of customers. After I launched the first AI-empowered Smart Cities product, Myself and along with five other coworkers who are all product managers were invited to give a training about our product in front of a group of 100 salespersons. Each of us were asked to give a presentation about our product and after I finished my presentation, there is a long line of salesperson, like 20 people line up trying to talk to me, shake my hand saying that Nancy, this is the best presentation I've ever heard. I'm so empowered to sell your product and bring your product to the hands of customers. And this kind of waving fan empower my product to quickly launch into the market within six months and also receive the Mayor's Best Practice Award in 2017. It became the most AI product I launched and literally kicked off my career. One of the key secrets to sell yourself effectively in, in front of stakeholders is to ask the right question to understand their needs and desires so they can help you to accelerate your career. I have a free checklist about top 10 questions you can ask your stakeholders to understand their needs, desire, and pain point so that you're going to sell yourself much easier i'm going to put the website in the link of the description so you can go there and download yourself if you're able to master these top five skills to become a good and great product managers your next step is get promoted and become a director of product and you should check out this video right here i break down in details regarding how exactly i became a director within four years and you can use the same strategy to accelerate your career as well if you're also motivated to become a good product manager make sure to like comment and subscribe to this channel this is dark city from pm accelerator that Oh, see you in my next video right here.